Welcome, welcome, Cancer. My name is Renee, and this reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Not all of my readings will resonate at one time. Now please look at your Sun, Moon, or Rising for further clarity on the situation. Let's see what we have. When I was meditating on your energy, I was seeing the Two of Cups. Um, so I feel like you're balancing yourself at the moment. I feel like you're trying to find balance in a situation. Uh, you may be currently juggling a situation. Um, and here in your energy, I see you have the Four of Cups. So... I feel like at the moment, Cancer, yeah, you feel a little overburdened. Uh, you're daydreaming in the situation. You're feeling unfulfilled at the moment. In the near past, you have the King of Swords. And the Three of Swords. Wow, okay. The Ten of Swords in Reverse. In the near future, you have the Two of Cups. Okay, in Cancer, what is your energy? Get some energy for Cancer, please. The tower. Oh, so you're really feeling like you're going through it. The two of wands. Okay, and some cards wanted to pop out as well. So you have the High Priestess in the overall outcome. Um, as clarifies, you have the Devil, the Queen of Wands in reverse, and the Strife card. Um, so yeah, we will see what all this means. And your energy. You have the Four of Cups, and what's crossing you is, t is the Ten of Wands. I feel like um, oh hush I've got two babies down here two baby kitties and my my older kitty he's not he's kind of reluctant to change here <laughs> so he's not liking the new visitors but he's gonna have to deal with it let's see Okay, with the with the four of wands and the ten of wands, I, I feel like you are you're feeling unfulfilled at the moment. Um, you're currently caught in your head. You are doing a lot of daydreaming at the moment, Cancer. Maybe it's because of this. Three of Swords at your foundation. Um, you do have the King of Swords in the near past. So I feel like maybe the, the truth came out about a situation in the near past. And that has led to um, the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords in reverse. So I, I feel like you are currently kind of stuck in a heartbreak. You're, you have a lot of disappointments. Um, you're reluctant to leave the situation or this person is reluctant to leave the situation with you. Excuse me. 
Um, but I feel like this is a huge change for you. Now, in the near future, I see someone new coming back. This could also be you reuniting re with this person. Um, but although I'm getting more of an energy that this is a new person coming in. Um, in your... In your energies, I feel like you are going through this huge dynamic of change. I feel that this is just, this rocked your foundation. It kind of left you at a crossroads. It left you deciding which path to go down um, and truly deciding how you want your future to unhold, uh, unfold. Um, I feel like with the two of ones, you are currently making your choices on what you want to do. And you're kind of fearful that this is going to leave you without anyone. Um, but you do have the two of cups in your near future. So... Um, if, if you're fearing being alone at the moment, Cancer, I, I feel like, yeah, you should kind of not worry so much about that. You do have the high priestess as well. So I feel like you should trust yourself in this situation. Trust your gut in this situation because your, your, your gut is not going to leave you in, in distress. Now, for clarifying, you have the the Devil, the Queen of Wands, and the Strength card. So with the Devil card, this could be a Capricorn in your situation. This could be an Earth sign. Um, but I feel like this could also be someone who was kind of obsessive, someone who was very jealous. This could be your energy. This could be someone else's. But I, I feel like this person was very obsessive. This person was very um, overbearing and jealous over a situation. And the Queen of Wands, this could very well be your energy where this situation has left you feeling less confident. It took a lot of your energy. It took a lot of your confidence and your self-assurance because I see that with the, the Queen of Wands in the reverse, she's not feeling that she's as attractive as she used to be. So I'm, I'm feeling like this took a lot of energy from you. Um, but you also have the Strength card. So I know that you are able to overcome this energy. You have, you have the strength, you have the willpower, you have you need to take time to really view yourself. Look in the mirror and love yourself. Love yourself. When, when no one is there to love you or when no one is around, love yourself. Give yourself affirmations yeah you have the Empress energy yeah so this definitely and you have the death card on the bottom so this is definitely a change this is definitely a change coming through this is something that's inevitable um, but but know that you are the Empress you are the Empress in this situation the universe sees you as an Empress you are very you are very beautiful and vibrant and you are very fruitful at this time um, instead of taking care of everyone else I feel like this is time when you should take care of you pamper yourself at the moment cancer okay let's see let's get some energy let's clarify this cards a bit see what we have for the four of cups and the ten of wands okay 
something. Okay, you have the King of Swords. Okay, so the King of Swords, the King of Swords is very coming is coming through very powerful and very um, authoritative. He can actually be kind of stern and fast talking, but he's a logical leader. Uh, this could be your energy. This could be you leading with your head and not your heart. Um, and you have the two of pentacles. So I believe that you're trying to find balance in this situation. You're trying to get back on track in this situation. And yeah, you have the Five of Cups and the, the Page of Pentacles. So I, I feel like even though this is very disappointing, even though this is very, um, this is a loss at the moment, I feel like something new is going to be coming in. Someone new is going to be coming in to maybe give you an offer, um, maybe, you know, help you through the situation. And yeah, with the Ten of Swords, you have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like um, you need to work through those energies of not wanting to let something go. You need to work through those and um, or maybe you're actually working more so that you don't have to think about the situation but i feel that you need to follow your gut in this situation what about this two of cups tell me more about this two of cups yeah the six of swords So this could very well be them coming back to reunite. And I feel like you're not having it. I feel like you've kind of had enough. You're not moving forward in this situation. Um, but I feel like with this tower card, you're you're pretty much stagnant at the moment. I feel like you're not moving forward. What advice do we have for this tower? What advice do we have for this tower? Temperance. Okay. Yeah, hope and healing. You need to find balance and um, have patience. Once this this feeling of this change, this drastic change comes through, you're you're gonna feel more balanced. You're gonna feel more relaxed. Um, you have hope and a new beginning. What do we have? Okay, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So I feel like with this situation, yeah, there, there's choices that you need to make. Um, and this choice is inevitable. You have two paths. You're currently at a crossroads. Um, and you feel like this could take a lot of your finances if you're not careful. Um, maybe this is divorce. Maybe this is separation. Maybe this person wants half of what you got. Maybe this person is trying to take more than what they need out of the situation. Wow. Okay. And with that, you have... With the Five of Pentacles have the nine of wands in reverse so yeah I feel like you're not setting the boundaries that you need to set you need to set boundaries for this person um, yeah and you have the, the queen of cups so um, I, I feel like you've taken care you you have taken care of this person for so long they depend on you and um, they may be telling you, I can't live without you. I can't make it. But I, I feel like you're not setting the boundaries that you need to set. Okay, yeah, and you have the Ace of Swords. So the clarity that, that you're, you're searching for 
um, you're going to gain that clarity. This can also be a new beginning, and, um, new ideas, new something new coming into your life. You also have the Page of Cups. So, yeah, this could be someone coming in to offer you support in this situation. And you also have the Six of Pentacles on the bottom. So definitely someone's coming in to support you through this situation. Um, maybe someone that you've given in the past, uh, maybe a friend, maybe a loved one, is coming in to provide support for you. Okay, and you may receive a message or a new offer coming in. Okay. Yeah, and we got the tower again. So definitely, definitely this is change. Okay, let's see what we have here as far as guidance. What does the angels have to say about the situation? <clears throat> Angels, may I have some advice for cancer for the situation, please? Some advice for cancer. Okay. Opening to discovery. Yeah, and it, there's a door. There's a key at the bottom with the door. Can you see that? Okay. And I'm, I believe that this is this is a new door opening for you. Um, you're going to gain the knowledge that you need for this new beginning, Cancer. Don't get into this stuck energy. And number 27, a grand symphony. Yeah, so I, I think that... At the bottom of the deck, you have smoke and mirrors. Yeah, so um, I, I believe that someone's coming in for you. Someone's coming in to kind of give you that line, all the smoke and mirrors. Um, they sound good. They come with a lot of fast talk. They um, are very manipulative. But... I think that, that you already know the answers to the situation. You're now you just need to make a decision on the situation. Some more guidance from angels, please. Okay, we have Ray. Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. Yeah, so I think you should focus on on uh, building yourself up building yourself up in this situation and now this just flew out vanessa to make your decision ask yourself which way brings me closer to my destined purpose my divine purpose which way takes me away from it so yeah and i think that this is something that is leading you on your crossroads and at the bottom you have mystique keep charging ahead don't take no for an answer expect miraculous solutions to appear yeah so trust in the divine trust in the divine cancer and it will see you through okay all the answers are provided to you just use your intuition Make sure to follow your gut instinct in the situation. Okay, Cancer, this is your reading. If this uh, resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell on the bottom. And um, make sure to check out your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Many blessings to you. Love and light. Bye-bye.